Today, we're diving into some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition. If you've been on the fence about foldable phones because of that pesky display crease, this might just be the device to change your mind. Let's break down what this new leak is telling us. So what's the big deal with this Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition? Well, according to a new leak, Samsung has managed to significantly reduce the visibility of the display crease on this Special Edition model. This is great news for those who have been hesitant to embrace foldable phones because of that visible line that runs down the middle of the display. Samsung has been consistently working to improve the foldable experience and with each new generation, they've made progress. But this time, it looks like they've really nailed it. A well-known tipster, Ice Universe, recently tweeted that the display crease on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition is better than ever. Now, if you're familiar with Ice Universe's track record, you know they're usually spot on with these kinds of leaks. Reducing the crease is a huge deal for the foldable market. One of the main reasons people have been skeptical about foldable phones is that visible crease. It's been a distraction for some, but Samsung seems to have taken this feedback seriously, and they've been working hard to address it. If this special edition delivers on these promises, we could see a lot more people warming up to foldable phones. But that's not all. Along with a less noticeable crease, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition is rumored to bring several other upgrades. One of the big ones is a wider cover display. This could make the phone even more user-friendly, allowing you to do more without having to open the device every time. There's also talk that the Special Edition will support the S Pen. That's a big plus for productivity users who want the added functionality of the stylus. And for those who are into photography, the Special Edition is expected to feature a 200 megapixel main camera, which would make it a powerhouse for mobile photography. Another notable upgrade is that the device is said to have a thinner body. This is something many users will appreciate as foldable phones have traditionally been a bit bulkier compared to regular smartphones. A thinner design could make it more comfortable to carry and use on a daily basis. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition sounds like a major upgrade over the regular model, it seems that it will only be available in South Korea and China, at least for now. Leaked promotional materials suggest that pre-orders for the device could begin later this month, but it's unclear if or when it will be available in other regions. This could be disappointing for fans outside of these regions who are eager to get their hands on the device. But if the special edition does well, there's always a chance that Samsung could expand its availability in the future. That's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition and if you think it could finally solve the foldable phone crease issue. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more tech news and leaks. See you next time. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button, this physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, 
and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9 inch OLED panel with a 120 Hz refresh rate and an always on display that can drop its refresh rate to just one Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120 Hz refresh rate and always on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20-watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25-watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15-watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. 
Either way, you're getting a top tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.